Cheers, everybody! Well, 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 what do we have here? Uh, something's different from the end screen of last time. I may give you a hint. This thing here is not here anymore. This is what I just brought in. This is this is our current ball. This is the one I just got from logging in today. And <laughs> I must admit, um, I gotta have to upload this episode in about half an hour. And <laughs> you know that recordings take a little longer. I have to render it and I have to upload it. So it might come a little bit later today. Oopsie. Good news, it may come out with Factorio again, if if everything's alright. If I don't mess up that again. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, only one ball per save. And my next idea would be to... Next time not log in with the ball, but know where I had it last time, so that... We can see if um, if it is the new spawning in, so that it gets teleported from there to here, or if it just gets destroyed upon leaving the world, basically. Which means if I don't load in with a new one, I did the trick we saw last time, uh, will the old ball still disappear? But that's that's for next time. Well, good episode. See, okay, for now though. What are we going to do? I've written things down and I forgot about that. <laughs> Hello, I'm a professional. I do have my notes though, so this barely takes a second. I do not have my notes. Hello, I'm even more of a professional. Woo. This is worth it because if I remember right, I had an interesting idea in the meantime. That I just have to find again. It's all at the bottom. Hi. <laughs> mm, seems. A, whoopsie. Cam in sky. Oh. Whoops. That wasn't supposed to be read out loud. Yeah. Okay. My great idea was maybe not the best one. But we can try it anyway. Load. And I'm, I must admit, I do like X overlay. I hate, I, I pretty much rage quitted a software, a companion software, not a game, <laughs> because it was stupid on my first try, but the more I use it, the more I like it. And if it's actually better for a stream, we might keep it around. Sadly, I won't test it this weekend because I got an invitation for Saturday, but. That's for another channel, that's for another time. I do like the glow on the glo uh, on the clock. Glocke. Bell. German. Great. Let's continue. So, what we want to do is to take... Uh, for better fine control into this hand and the camera in the other hand. Then I go down. And, whoops. <laughs> I'm still learning how to control myself in the air. Okay, it's interesting. Might look a little bit funky for you, but there's a reason we're doing it this way. Have a little bit patience with me. Uh, I can't go down anymore. Ah, I'm good now. Okay, what I want is just to... It doesn't even matter, I can just let it go. Okay, then we fall. And put the orb aside. Now, if I select look at player. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> I should have done this at daytime. Uh, maybe we can wait? Nah, not really. But we've got an interesting aerial view. So if we would have like a lamppost or something I could put this on to indicate where I usually have the camera. I could... Okay, maybe it's a little bit too high up, I must admit. 
But it is funny. It's it's like one of those um, police helicopter chases uh, that I don't know GTA. You know. <laughs> <laughs> you you can see me working and it's a little bit far away from the other base but basically I can just go over and have fun there <laughs> oh my god look at him go Woo! <laughs> it's kind of cute not gonna lie I, I, I certainly like it okay how about we get the camera and the ball back and then we continue <laughs> I like that. Maybe maybe I shouldn't put it that high next time, but right around that part. Okay, I've got I've got our ball and I'm on my way back and once I'm there, you can come back to me. <laughs> this is kind of cute. I like it. So, we were doing something else last time. Also, that explains why we didn't find the other ball because we can only have one at a time. Hello. <laughs> that was certainly something. Now then, now then. Um, right. Th that's where it all started. We just wanted to displace the wall a little bit. Oh man. What adventures we have here. Okay, this one is put down correctly. Yep. This has a little bit more material, so this has to be closer, I remember. Did it cut? No. I shouldn't displace myself like this. It is connected. Okay. We just get rid of this piece. I don't. We do not need the ball for this, for this size. Come on. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think, oops, I think the wall on the other side is complete still. If we make a blueprint, we would have the biggest piece of ancient alloy that we could have. For now, though... Oh, it's in! I'm gonna talk about this in a second, okay? Okay, if I cut it wrong, we do have the blueprint now. Okay, this this is solid. So we just need a centimeter off here. I do not know if we have the energy to reset the wall. We could. This is so unwieldy. This is even worse. Okay, I do need to swing this in. Perfectly here. Okay, this should be our length. This should be perfectly our length. Which means... All that is left... Is to have it... Uh, thinner. Okay, we can go for 2 cm, we can go for 1 cm, I mean the material is heavy enough so it's not a problem whatever we end up with. That means it doesn't matter how well I cut here. To a degree. Did it end up as one centimeter? Okay, that's okay, that's okay, that's okay. This only really matters if we were to use uh, a lot of tungsten, but that's not the plan. 
Also, I don't think with tongues that we have much of a difference in between one centimeter and two centimeter pieces. Also, also, just for security reasons here. Uh, we can get rid of the wall piece, although it's our biggest piece so far. We're gonna get rid as soon as we have the other wall in. How about that? Now then, putting this in is interesting. Oh my lord. Look at how sleek this looks already. Since all corners will look similar, we just have to... Uh. Oh my! Okay, this didn't work. <laughs> Not the way I will... Ooh. No, 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 it... Okay, clamp to the top. Wait, it goes over. It clearly goes a lot over. Huh? But I... But I did cut it right. Didn't I? Wait, we, we specifically measured it last time. Did I make a, did I make a mistake while measuring it? Here it's over now. Here it's over now. Yep, somewhere along the lines I made a mistake. In terms of length, it's perfect. It is the width again. What mistake did I do with the width? I specifically made it in between the things, didn't I? Although, wait. You know what? This goes perfectly from the outer end to the inner end. So I think my mistake... No, it does not. It does not. If I lay this barely on top of here, it should be one centimeter afar, but it's two centimeters afar. So I can't even tell what my mistake was here. All I can do is to slice off piece by piece until we have the right size. And I did make a blueprint, so any badly cut piece I can just throw over and redo. And this is uh, smaller than the big walls, so it's not that big of an energy cost. So we just do this again and again until we have the right size. This still lays on top and about a centimeter here and about a centimeter here. That means we need to shave off two centimeters in theory. That's two centimeters. Wow, okay, it works. Now then, this should perfectly fit in No, Oh my god. It does. No, no, no. Okay, okay, it fits, it fits. We just have to... I kind of like it. It has to be higher though, but I kind of like how it is. Ooh, 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 ooh. This, it doesn't like to be in between pieces like it is right now. <laughs> ah! Oh, we had it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Looks good. Looks good on this side. Looks good on this side. Oh my god, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Ah, one head scratch less. Oh my lord. Yes. Okay. Uh, this comes back, let's say, right around here, together with the other two pieces. So we can convert this into other material, if need be. Up, 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 up. Okay. So, we still need to work on the underside anyway, because next up, 
uh, let's get rid of this. Let's put it back to the other wood here. Okay, next up would be how we design the wheels, right? And for that, we do need some bearings. And you know what? Y you can say whatever you want. I don't think we have enough bearings whatsoever. What I want to do is take this thing with me for a lot of funsies. And I don't think we need anything else. So I guess... I do have an idea. I do have an idea. You know what? We do not need the heat engine in a while, I think. Let's first disconnect this thing. Pick it up. And do we need something else with it? Uh, I don't think so. Nothing we don't have on the other side. Okay, we have everything we need. And bearings we can uh, keep on our person. We could just throw them into the cart if it was ready, but that's what we're doing this for now. Oh, I'm excited. Okay, how do we design the wheels? Because there are multiple options. How we did it so far with the two cards we have is um, we had the construct to, to hold stuff in place and just put some bearings underneath. That works, but in terms of looks it's rather cheap, wouldn't you agree? So my take on it would be to design it a little bit extra. Not too much, but give it some form of a look. And since the card is turned over at the moment, shouldn't be that hard. I do wonder, a question I have, the blueprints we make, are they based on the position and orientation of our character? Or the position and orientation of the, the menu? Okay, we have this if we want to try something funny. Oh yeah, right, I destroyed it. Ooh, that's bad. That is really, really bad. Let's give me this thing. Uh, oh, that's bad to, to have around here because of um, the blade. <laughs> they cute. Can they leave like this? I don't think so. They, they can still get... Oh my god. Okay, yeah, can, they could leave. That means they shouldn't be able to hit me from there. Uh, what I want to do is... Um, do we have a piece of metal that is plastic I mean we do have these pieces and I don't think we need them anymore everything else around here is plastic I need something conductive okay in that case it was nice to have this we can try this sometime again yeah. Oh, they can't be connected to... Oh, that's kind of bad. Uh, this doesn't conduct. Okay, now I just need something lightly to conduct. It doesn't have much else to do but to conduct. And oh, by the way, by the, by the way, since we're already on it, let's give me one of these and a battery. Any battery is good. Now then, we lay the light on top of the drone. 
Today we learned drones are not conductive. Hmm. Okay. I actually would have expected them to conduct uh, electricity. Interesting. <laughs> we don't have anything here, do Oh, wait, 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 wait. I do not know which way it goes, but this conducts. And it can connect. That means... Um, I just have to find out which way. If I connect it like this. Okay, it goes into direction... Away from the battery. So, into this direction. That means it has to be connected like this. Because we do want to get the energy out of this motor. Away. And these things do conduct. That I know. Okay, it doesn't have to be fine now. It just has to work. So we want to connect this pretty low, so it doesn't interrupt with the blade on top. Good, 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 good. Then we take a sturdy piece. I mean, this looks pretty fine to me. Perfect, okay. Then... Ah, here's my drone, I like my drone. I don't know which direction, so we just... This is the wrong direction. That is what I want. It's not enough power though. Uh, actually... Um, that should be enough. And we need the light. Because now I do want to know... Oh wait, this doesn't conduct up. I'm silly. Uh, anything else that conducts around here? No, okay, we have to change that. Uh, I don't know how. Wait. We disconnect the last piece. We connect it to the thing here. I have a kind of like... Oh yeah, it doesn't directly connect. But can connect underneath and touch the motor. Motors themselves are not conductive though. So maybe something else uh, that is. Okay, since everything is static, we could use a bearing for that. Which means we connect the bearing itself to the motor. And the axis to the other axis. Yeah. Now it's definitely connected. <laughs> it's kind of cute. Hmm. It's not quick enough though. Oh. Wait. Huh. Doesn't really do that much damage. <laughs> okay, now. Okay, it's starting up. <laughs> it works. Okay, what happens if I disconnect uh, this thing here? It's still going. What if I disconnect this here? It's still going. Okay, in that case... Give me this. Give me that. Uh, no. That one. And now we connect this a little bit further away, for good reason. 
now we can load this battery. Okay, and with the battery loading, we do have enough of these things here. <laughs> Mm -mm. I do need a construct for this. <laughs> Kinda like that. With the bearing on top of the battery. And the reason for that you will see in just a moment. Oh, no, 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 no. With the excess. And now... Do we have some tungsten or something to cut around here? I mean, if all comes down, I can use the wall. Or I can, I can actually... Uh, um, wait, wait, wait. If you don't have it, you can simply make do. That's what I need. That's exactly what I need. It's gonna be put here now because I can easily push this uh, in between. Okay, this doesn't really work that well as I imagined it could. I do need to find the right angle for this. Okay. It's a little bit trial and error since we are not really working with any grid or system here. But now. Okay, it's not translating at the moment. Wait. Nope, it has to be even closer now. Mm. Dang it. New idea. Okay, now it doesn't work though. Yep, that's too far off. Oops, okay, that's not the way to go. Ah! I mean, honestly, it would be much easier if I just do it like this. Shouldn't we have a translation going now between this and the motor? Am I silly? Where is where is the missing link? This here should light up. I don't... I think it's not touching low enough? Is it touching too high? In that case, uh, easy peasy. Uh, come on. I mean, now it should translate. For some reason it doesn't want to. 
Okay, now it's definitely touching. Oh, because... Uh, okay, this is getting on my nerves now. So, whatever you do, an axis cannot power a motor. Which, I think it does make sense in a way. It's still silly. The best way around it is if there is a bearing connected to the thing. So if I were to do this... Oh my god, don't do this to me. Uh oh. Okay, design could be better. <gasps> okay. And uh, now it doesn't work anymore. Great. Oh, I think it did work, but uh, the thing got stuck. Oh, that could be it. It should not be too high. <laughs> it even put the bearing out. Okay, okay, it's dangerous, but it works. It lo just looks silly. And this will power the battery. You know what? I found a use case. <laughs> Safety stop! Oh, I like that. A collector would be nice now. But in the end, we've got this. 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 And this. Ah, we need some more. One. Could be quicker. Maybe not to have it directly on the battery, I think. Or no battery at all, maybe. Wow. Why does it stay so low? Oh, because I was low. Huh. Now we wait. And now we... And now we wait. Hello? Huh. Why does this one... Oh! What happened there? Ow! I have to watch out with this thing. That's how we do it. Thank you. Ah, uh, look at the treasure we've got. And up. I think if it's too quick, it destroys the bearing as well. Dang it. Yep. I think some of the bearings just don't survive if it's this quick. What we can do <laughs> is manually putting them in. Which kind of defeats the whole purpose. But that means we do need to throttle... We do need to throttle that thing a little bit. Look at the bounty. Oh. There is a safer way to get bearings without um, the risk of destroying them. We can set that up later. <laughs> and I do know how we get there. 
I have funny ideas planned. But for now we do it the quick, easy, dirty way. Do you think that's enough bearings for a card? Oh. <laughs> okay, whatever helps. Okay, now the battery may load again. I wonder if it loads if it's outside of the range. That's more than enough bearings for a day. Bye bye. Okie dokie. Mm. The things you can do with this. Not gonna lie, I'm thinking about flying. <laughs> <laughs> flying back home, but I do not to want to overuse this thing too much. It is cool as a blade stopper, not gonna lie, I like it for that reason. And it has other use cases as well. For example, if you, you could make a suitcase out of that and basically transport whatever weight. Oh, if you could attach this thing to other stuff, you could make a crane out of it. I oh, imagine. I mean, there there must be a way to to do a crane, right? Am I thinking? T Am I overthinking this? Am I overcomplicating this? Could be. So the frame hits a little bit because everything is loading in. But I think once it is loaded, we still had a few around. Ah, oh, I forgot about them. Uh, let's put everything in base where it belongs. Alrighty. You did not see that throw. Okay, what were we do? Oh yeah, right. Right, right, right. We were designing on how to the cheapest method we have the cheapest thing we could do is to just slap a block here down the middle of this thing however we find the middle do we have to measure for that i kind of don't want to okay maybe black on black doesn't look that good maybe black on black isn't the way to go Hmm, what other materials would we have? Stone is a little bit out of place for this thing. Ha ha ha, everything else we have is black. What I could do is... To get things like these here like the knobs connected to this and the bearings on top but that would only leave room for two bearings if i go with the small version what I could do is to expand this thing. We need about two bearings on each side. A third bearing would be nice, but it's not needed. Kinda like this. No. If I were to connect this around here, it would connect nicely. Nope, it does not. Phew, 
Ooh. Ooh, that has some tension. Doesn't look too bad though. Might work. It looks like it's uh, looking out of the middle though. Which might be bad for me. Now the question is, do both wheels rotate simultaneously? Or do we give them their own rotation? Oh yeah, this is too far in. Dang it. I could have this half, halfway, halfway, half, way. Uh, it's not going halfway. Wait. I don't know why. Usually you have three connection points. One on each side, so it's on top, diagonally, and usually the di uh, middle part as well. Oh, damn it. Why does it randomly just drop stuff when I disconnect? Sometimes I keep it in hand, sometimes I drop it. I do not understand. <sighs> okay, easy. Especially with bearings, where it sometimes just switches to the axis instead. I do not want to keep it like that, because it looks silly. Another thing we can do, if we want to go with a two, um, two axis per wheel, disconnected route. We could have a middle piece. That connects like this. Too far away, let's get this clo closer, closer, it's not getting closer, okay, let's do something very risky. Uh, yeah, no, this looks silly. <sighs> Snapping, oh, you wonderful feature. It's not getting, it's not getting closer. Now, sometimes it's, ah, uh, it's the back and forth switch. God damn it. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, that's what we like to see here. I mean, it's getting nighttime, so we don't see that much, but we love to see it. Now then, what is the right rotation for these? Like this. Exactly like this. Okay, now we do the same on the other side. Kind of. Uh, the random switches again. This might take a while because game is silly. It's not on me. I'm doing it right. Uh, speaking of doing it right, do we have any big lamp here? We only have small lamp and not enough to create big lamp. Which means we have to stay in darkness for a little bit. Whoopsie. Okay, how did I do this? I press this as far as possible. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it when it immediately works. <sighs> and now we've got the wheel. Okay. This thing. Now should go here. Okay, how precise do we want to do this? Uh, I know how precise I want it. So we're going back here. <gasps> Sorry. <clears throat> a one, a two. And these 
Uh, 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 how? Okay. Wait. One, two. Oh, it's over the half. So let's get this back by one. Dang it. It's not really working the way I want it to. Okay, we don't need anything past this point. Okay, just lie on top now. One, two, three, four, five, the six. One, two, three, four, five. Six is just out of radius, which would be like this. And now the depth would depend on how big the wheels are. My best guess is that this thing would be around this part here, somewhere. Let's eye it. It doesn't have to be hyper precise, I think. Uh, this actually looks pretty good. Well, too late to change now. Okay, now that we've got this, uh, we have to find a cutting blade. We did have something like that around here. A small piece of... There it is. Because now we have to get rid of uh, some of the housing here. A one. A two. And the third one. Let's see if three is enough. Ah. Ah, my controllers are in the way again. Okay, those are three axes. Ah, it's kind of far. Okay, I have an idea how to deal with this, which I kind of like. Uh, we can do that in a second. For now, I do want to... Uh, I, I do want to see the piece. Th uh. Yes, yes, exactly. And it actually does look rather good. Okay, three pieces is what we need right now. So let's get rid of uh, three other ones. Um, we destroyed the whole thing, great. One. Whoops. Ah. I have too much swing. Two. Oh, there it is. This goes on the other side. And you know what? Once we're ready with this, we can go straight to the wheels. I like that. 
And don't worry about the flipping. I know perfectly, uh, perfectly well how to flip this later. Okay. Let's try again. I don't know why my hand is, like my in-game hand is shaking so much. I'm very steady out of game. Okay. Looks, certainly looks better than anything we had before. Why do we use two bearings? No spring. It, it doesn't move left, right, up, down, whatsoever. So any pressure on the thing. And we can improve on that as well. Because... Ah, two are left, that's perfect. I mean, we do have a few um, on the block, as we've seen. So we don't have to immediately run there again. This is not for the wheel. We have to go out a little bit more, which means next episode we will have to get back to the drone spawner. But we don't have to play around that much there anymore. Why is it lagging so much right now? I have nothing open. Nothing is going on here. Good, 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 good. Bottom plate we do not need. So the last piece we need is something that has just the right height there. It can be nearly any material that would look good there. Just two things of the same size. And this looks like a good size. Let's try it. Actually, let's get this over, so if it is the right size, I can make an easy blueprint. Huh? Why did I just leave one centimeter of the thing? It's way too little. Uh, that may be a little bit too big actually It might work So my idea is uh, Yes, I need to cut it down a little bit Nearly perfect like one or two centimeters off Perfect. Now we get this thing into place. Oh wait, 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 we don't get this into place. Now we get it into place. Because we do want to have the same piece on the other side. It's connected. So basically any wheel would have two springs here and one spring here. So the... Uh, forget what I said, I guess? Huh? It should have been stable. I don't understand how this can happen. Like, like we have three, three of them. Three of them in a row. 
And you wanna tell me that I can easily now? I have the feeling that this bearing here destabilizes the whole thing, which would go exactly against what I wanted to do with it. Huh? How? I do not get it. Wait a second, give me this here as an extension. Um, um, I have no idea what's going on. I mean, it does rotate. Who oh boy, does it rotate? What? Ladies and gentlemen, we have a generator. Uh, excuse me? Anybody has an idea of what's going on here? It does rotate on its own. Is it still rotating? No. Okay, it may have been a connection thing with this here. Uh, looks good now. Whatever it was, I think I solved it. By just slamming this thing down. And I mean if we do it like this anyway... Let's get it in like this. Okay, no, not. Mm, can I get it in without? Without it connecting to the pipe, uh, to the axis. Uh, did I cut it? I think I cut it. Not not rotating. Okay. Anyway, I can do this without the axis connecting. No, I don't think that works. I think I cut it. Not sure. Ah, what what do I have to do here? Now it's definitely cut, and you know what that means. If this works, we can simply make a second one. And it seems to rotate. Uh, weirdly enough, it rotates upwards. So we've got a new spring in. Okay, maybe we can make it work. It seems to work, but in a weird way. Okay, let's try to get this right. Is it a generator again? No, it's a weird spring again. Mm.
What did I... What am I doing here? I just want to stabilize this thing. Huh? Wait a second. Those are two different directions, aren't they? Wait, this, okay, we need to try something, okay? I think I found something out. Every episode now we're finding out new stuff. Okay, so if I turn this clockwise, like I do with my head, so from this position into this position, okay? We grab, you see what I grab. If this goes back, It turns counterclockwise. Very lightly though. Very lightly. If I push this the other way around, it goes clockwise. Okay, if I grab the corner. Oh. very specific where I would get the most power and I haven't figured out okay clockwise and power okay I do not okay Depending on if it looks forward or backwards, um, the thing will turn clock and counterclockwise. I just don't know. And that's the interesting part, how to get power on this. Like, um, sometimes it goes out of control and sometimes it's slow. Right now it's slow. And now we have power. Well, kind of. It was crazy at some point. If I push it down, no, push it up, no, push it forwards to me, no, push it back, huh? Oh. Uh, that, okay, it is interesting and it would explain why it does that. Because it has, with the snapping, it kind of gets out of its middle point. Uh. It's no whoa, 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 whoa. So if you want to do an electrical generator, this is how you would do it. Ha. Ah. So much about stabilizing that thing. Mm. Now, how do I stabilize it, really? We can't. Well, there is a way. There's a way I don't like. Uh, we turn off snap objects. That would mean... We can place this however we... Just has to look good. It is connected. It is not spazzing out. Uh, it just looks silly. But I mean... As long as it's not more headache inducing, we can certainly deal with it, right? Uh, do we have any batteries around here? Okay, and once we got the other side in, I think that's a good 
moment to stop. Uh, but, but, no, snap objects uh, stays off. Alright, we're gonna talk about this next time. Uh, it's on a slope. Okay, let's just create it here. next time around we have to redo our wheels because of the whole iron thing we found out last time with the whole hematite story uh, it looks a little bit cheap uh, let's get this in in a better way it kind of looks the part that's okay this doesn't rotate, at least it doesn't look like. It's rotating! Woo! Certainly works. Okay, so they are grounded now. Great. They're working. It does not rotate. Wonderful. Okay, let's get in the last blueprint for today and since we are doing the wheels next time uh, okay you know what I said that we will not load in with the ball that was what I said but honestly I would love love to because we could easily Do this, which means that we can just place the wheels on here. <laughs> uh, for for the cart me cart mechanics and everything, it certainly works. We could do we we could do walls and stuff as well. In and maybe for for the lower part in case we want to transport a lot of tiny stuff like bearings for example the floor should have a good uh, 65 defense with 300 durability can work especially if we keep some repair material around that might work if not, maybe we pad out the ground a little bit. I got rid of the blueprint of the floor, didn't I? Oh well. Yeah, okay, we, we're gonna save. Well, what do I need for this anyway? Niter! Yeah, this, this will stay here for a while. Anyway. Let's see if you're off here. Oh, the silhouette looks kind of pretty. We do not have the electricity for it, but that's okay. First of all, snap settings on again. Ah, oh, dang it, I should have left the camera up there. Oh well. Oh, it's still following me, doesn't it? Yep. Do we have a nice view on this? Yeah, 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 yeah. 
here look at that beauty it's much more intricate than whatever we had before it's not perfect in terms of design but I mean it does work and it is safe by now which means it turns but it's not a it's not a motor again what more do you want <laughs> So now we extend this to the side a little bit, put a wheel on it and take care of a handle and then we pretty much have it. We could, we could have walls to the side, but for now it's perfectly usable. Especially for the standardized locks we have and in case we want to standardize some other materials. We went with a 20 by 20 on one side and the length can vary with the weight. The locks are a little bit more lightweight in comparison to stone or iron, which means that they are long. I think 100 centimeters it was. For something like stone, maybe we could try a 20 by 20 by 20, which would then five times be as big as one log. This could work. We will see. And now that we've got some practice in with the iron wheels that we have, maybe creating the the other wheels would be easier. I mean, technically speaking, off screen I could do some tri tri trigonometry or whatever it's in English. Yeah, but I kind of don't want to. So we we kind of eyeball it again. You know, it works. It works. Hmm, I may ha may or may not have an idea how to do this better than we did last time. But I would say we see about that around next time. How about it? See you then. Bye bye. Oh my god, a lot of stuff here. Let's take some of this away before I go. Just some cleaning up. Bye-bye.